Today, Tuesday, April 7th, we have a new Red Dead Online update, daily challenge bonus, five gold bar gift, double XP, and more. Complete one daily challenge per day in Red Dead Online to reach a three daily challenge streak and get a special gift of 10 special health cures, 10 special miracle tonics, 10 special snake oils, 20 incendiary buckshot slugs, and the gifts will arrive in your camp lockbox or post office within 48 hours of completion, and all players can enjoy a little extra pocket change this week for playing Red Dead Online. If you play any time between now and April 14th, you will get 5 gold bars for absolutely free, and also for that same award from Rockstar, please allow 48 hours for your gifts to arrive. Now this week, whether you're a crack shot or a jockey or if competition is the only thing that gets your blood flowing, you're in luck because showdown modes and races are both dishing out double XP this week. We've had a lot of PvP bonuses recently and now we have double XP for these modes this week. We also have some new discounts this week and Red Dead Online as well. There is a broad swath of discounts on offer across the Wheeler, Rawson, and Company catalog this week, including 40% off your rifles, pistols, and pamphlets that you can get from the fence. We also have deals for 50% off, which include ponchos, shirts, and all items in the Wilderness Outfitters store. The Butcher's Table is not included in this 50% off offer. And the 70% off offhand holsters and gun belts, draft horses, war horses, pants, and gloves. Take Two's fiscal year ends April 14th, and that means a new investor and earnings call will be coming soon. So definitely keep an ear out and listen up for that because they will be talking about Red Dead Online and their predictions and other things in the pipeline. No major specifics or anything like that, but we'll probably get some more detail than what Rockstar has currently told us so far. So that's what's to come to the game this week. The Name Your Weapon Showdown mode has left the game. A new featured free aim series mode has replaced it, and it does not seem that Rockstar had any unannounced tricks up their sleeve for additional showdown mode variations after the name your weapon showdown mode variation since most wanted was left out of the mix i thought maybe they were using it as a backup in case they wanted to add more which they totally still can but who knows what's on their plate currently and what fans will be seeing in the upcoming few weeks here for those who aren't as active in the Red Dead Online community recently, on March 17th, we saw variations of Overrun, Spoils of War, Plunder, and Up in Smoke. And on March 24th, we saw the Last Stand variation. And then of course, last week, March 31st, the Name Your Weapon variant. I'm curious to know which one of those modes you thought was your favorite and why. Me personally, I love the Last Stand variation, and I enjoyed that one most, but I only also got to play only a few rounds, so I'm happy I had a good time with it when I actually had the time to play it. And I definitely prefer normal last stand, but that was a really cool change of pace for the time being. Also, quick reminder here about the current clothing and other catalog items. They are in the shop for one more week. The gator hat, winter shotgun coat, and Benbo jacket are all first time items on PC. And even for players on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, they are still pretty rare and they're all quite affordable. So if you're looking to modify your outfits in any way, or even just trying to collect some rarer items and sought after items in game, it's definitely a good idea that you check these items out and maybe purchase some of them. And remember to keep saving your gold for when the next update arrives. For any new players just tuning into the video or anyone who has taken a break from the game in recent times, thank you and welcome back. I want to make sure everyone is on the same page and not everyone watches the same videos, so just to get you all up to speed, there was some pretty big news last week regarding the next update and I'm sure you'll want to hear about this leak. New dynamic events and legendary animals are rumored to be coming to Red Dead Online, according to two screenshots from two smoke and barrels showing decompiled game code from the open 4 GTA and Red Dead single player modding framework, we see lots of new activities listed as part of the contents of what is coming in MP007, which is going to be the next major update coming here to Red Dead Online. Some of the legendary animals include the legendary alligator, coyote, beaver, wolf, fox, boar, cougar, and the legendary bear, and some of the new dynamic events you'll come across in the free room are more of the single player experiences and interactions Rockstar has said that they wanted to push in the online, like crashed wagons, slumped hunter, suspension trap, trapped wagon, sick horse, locked safe, and unpaid debt encounters. So currently, we can expect a total of seven new dynamic events and at least eight legendary animals. Rockstar insider and enthusiast Tez Funds 2 expects there to be at least 10 legendary animals coming into the online, just like in single player, and that means the known list is missing half of the total legendary animals in single player, like the legendary buck, elk, pronghorn, legendary moose, legendary panther, legendary ram, Tatanka Bison and the White Bison, 
So maybe what we're seeing here is a matter of eight legendary animals releasing immediately and the other eight coming up in the drip feed, or it could just be a matter of only eight to 10 coming in total, just like legendary bounties. And they will start off the first week of the drip feed with this update with a legendary animal and each subsequent week, Rockstar will drop one more each time. But who knows? There was a PC update that fixed some bugs and glitches, and for those of you who play on PC, some of you may have noticed that these things should no longer be an issue, so let's talk about those game and online fixes. Rockstar made the following changes to Red Dead Online. They fixed an issue that caused flickering or missing textures on some weapons. They fixed several issues with flickering textures and other graphical corruptions when using Vulcan on systems with multiple graphics cards. They fixed several issues with the rendering of lighting, shadows, and snow deformation when using Vulcan and multi-sample anti-aliasing. They fixed an issue that occurred when attempting to run the game on some versions of the Windows 10 Preview Insider build and they also fixed an issue that may have caused random stalls and stuttering while using DirectX 12 on some systems. As for other fixes, they fixed several random crashes that occurred during gameplay in Story Mode and Red Dead Online, but they did not fix every single one at any opportunity, and I don't think that's possible. And they also fixed a crash that occurred in Story Mode while running the game in Offline Mode from a mapped network drive. Rockstar also fixed a crash that occurred when changing settings on some systems with integrated graphics. Rockstar fixed a crash that occurred when switching between graphics APIs and display modes on some systems, meaning you should be able to change from Vulkan to DX12 a lot easier without having the game crash upon entering your settings. Rockstar also fixed several crashes and stuttering issues when using Vulkan on some systems with multiple graphics cards. And lastly, Rockstar fixed an issue that caused the game to crash on launch with ERR GFX state due to a corrupted shader catch. Quick note on the last issue Rockstar said that they fixed in these patch notes. They didn't really fix it. I still get that error and the other letter F error when inside of my moonshine shack. It happens when I'm in the staircase when I walk down or up the stairs to either sell my moonshine or start the production of my moonshine or try and talk to Maggie or even just leave the shack itself when I leave from the basement and it really just ruins the experience and makes me paranoid to enter the shack thinking the game will crash yet again on stream for me in front of my audience and we have to take time to then quit the game, start it back up, and then log back into online. And so I really hope a permanent fix is released soon. But nonetheless, the full patch notes for what I just mentioned can be found on Rockstar's support website and will also be linked in the video description. We're really just waiting on the next update here. I know everyone's patience is wearing thin and every single week here more and more people are leaving. The newer players are kind of cycling in and out like a revolving door and Rockstar's newswire was quite late this morning. I knew of the changes in game but I just wanted to wait in case anything else was announced on the newswire and I'm kind of glad I did because besides Besides the discounts, I did not realize that you would that there would even be a daily challenge bonus for the three daily challenge streak and get a special gift of the 10 special health cures, the 10 special miracle tonics, or the 10 special snake oils, and also 20 incendiary buckshot shells. And I also didn't realize that we would get a gift of five gold bars if we played any time between now and April 14th. So that is pretty cool in my opinion. But besides those things, just to recap, we have double XP on showdowns this week in Red Dead. We have 70% off gun belts, draft horses, and war horses, and also 70% off pants and gloves, 50% off ponchos and shirts, 50% off all wilderness outfitters things, camp themes, upgrades, but the only thing that's not included here is the trader butcher's table. And we also have 40% off all rifles and pistols and 40% off fence pamphlets and the toxic moonshine pamphlet. If you craft two toxic moonshine, that's a daily challenge someday. So maybe it's worth getting it while it's 40% off this week. And that's where we're gonna wrap up today's video. I'd love to get your thoughts regarding this week's new Red Dead Online update down in the comments section below. This definitely is more low key than the past few weeks and I was almost expecting that but hopefully it kind of picks back up again soon hopefully you all enjoyed the video and if you did definitely drop a like on it down below and of course if you are new to the channel definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2 and even Rockstar Games as a whole we'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with updates news information tips and tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch Twitter and Instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube I practically live on 
on all three of those websites and you can feel free to strike up a conversation or even ask me a question. Whatever it may be though, you can follow me at HazardousHDTV and all of my links, including my Discord and my other social media, can be found in the description down below. With that said, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios amigos.